Hey, what's up guys? It's Merc here, and today I'm going to be talking about why I am so goddamn excited after BlizzCon. And I think we all are. I mean, this expansion, Warlords of Draenor, and I'd just like to point out that I was totally right about the trademarks thing, but then again, that wasn't really a far shot. I mean, it was it was a, a very likely to, to happen thing once they trademarked it everywhere. But anyway, why I am so excited now, because I actually have some details on what kind of Draenor we're going to be looking at, I can start, like, looking at the lore and looking at the zones and looking at just everything, how this world is going to play out 35 years in the, in the past, I think they said, 30 or 35 years. Anyway, the, I, I guess the most exciting thing about this whole thing is we get to see Outland as it was 35 years ago. And that on its own should just be exciting enough. But, I think even more than that is we have present day Outland to look at to be like, well, this wreckage is here, something clearly happened in Draenor in the past to cause that, or just, you know, cause and effect type stuff with current Outland that could even give us an idea of what's happening, you know, back in time. So, I, I don't know what kind of continuity Blizzard is going to implement in terms of, like, keeping it, like, really true to present Outland. I don't know whether they're going to rebuild the entire world. I don't know how much happened in those 35 years, but it would be cool if there was, like, some continuity there. Like, for instance, they have said that the Temple of Karabor, which most of you will know as Black Temple, will be used as the... Alliance City uh, for Warlords of Draenor. So that that for me is is really exciting. At, like once again, because just the sheer scope and size of Black Temple. I I don't know how true to the original scale of the actual Black Temple raid they'll keep it, but Black Temple is gargantuan. It's it's huge and. It's just, you know, the de like, the decrepit remains of what the Temple of Karabor used to be in its crown and glory. So, if they stay true to the size of Black Temple and they stay true to the scale, and, like, by looking on the map, you can see that it kind of extends out into the water, the Temple of Karabor, because, of course, Draenor, or our land, was surrounded by water. Like, it wasn't surrounded by, like, you know, cliffs that jump into the purple stuff, the Twisting Nether. It was all water. So, not only is this gargantuan temple going to be the Alliance Hub, it's also looking like it's on the coast. It's just, I, I mean, that, for me, is exciting. Like, 35 years in the past, gigantic, gigantic temple. I mean, Black Temple was, was a huge, huge instance, so... I really hope they stay true to that, stay true to the size, because, I mean, that would just be sweet to have, like, a fully functioning city again, you know? Like, I mean, lo looking back at, back at Stormwind, I guess, back at Ironforge, back at just, like, the old cities, we, we had these fully functioning, believable cities, and... I mean, Black Temple or the Temple of Karabor would have been a place for, like, priests and stuff. Like, it's a, a holy site. It's a temple. But it would be very cool if we could have, like, some kind of... I, I don't want to say realism, but just, like, some kind of immersion, like a living, breathing temple city. Or, I mean, obviously I'm saying city on the end of that because they have announced it's going to be, like, the Alliance's base camp. So... Maybe we'll see something like, um, I mean, obviously not like Shatrath, because Shatrath still exists. Although they said Shatrath is going to be, or they haven't said Shatrath is going to be, but it's marked as a raid in something. Someone told me that, so don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure uh, that's what I was told about Shatrath. Because Alliance and Horde have their own bases Shatrath, I don't think, is being a neutral city following the trend of Mists of Pandaria not having a neutral city. So, maybe it'll be a raid? 
maybe it'll be a, a dungeon, maybe it'll be, I don't know, who, uh, maybe it'll be a quest hub, who knows what it'll be, but it looks really cool, just having Draenor, Outland of the Past, is just absolutely blowing my mind this week, and I've been going through like all this old content, I've just been, I, I've, I've just been preparing for this brand new adventure, because it's something that I know kind of so much about, like I, I've read all into the lore of the past and whatnot, but at the same time, it's this completely, technically, you know, new world. I mean, it's it's being designed, it's a new world of the past, and I mean, I just, I guess I really don't know what to make of this expansion. So that in its, just in itself is exciting for me. This, this whole thing is absolutely blowing my mind, and I'd really like to talk more about it. So if you have any suggestions for a particular topic you'd like to hear me speak about, please leave me a comment below the video and let me know. I'm happy to make a video on it. This is a subject that I really am excited about at the moment. So yeah, hit me up. This is Mercat for now though. Cheers.